Uh, so we're getting ready to dock at Harvest Cay, which is um, Norwegian's private island that they basically built um, off the coast of Belize. So there's where we are. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at the water. <laughs> it's so flat. You know what this would be perfect for? Scuba. Scuba for you? Not today. So this is the beach area. Looks like we're going to get a little bit of rain. So. These are your private villas that you can rent for the day uh, through your Sure Excursion desk. I think they're like $800 a day, uh, but they're air conditioned and showers and bathrooms, I think, in there. And then there's more beach area, more beach. There's the big ass ship. Over there is your zip line tower where you can zip line. That's a shore excursion that you can book. This is the wildlife experience on the uh, Harvest K. So, yeah, we're gonna see what that's all about. We are having dinner tonight at Cagney's Steakhouse, which is a specialty dining option. Um, you pay an upcharge to eat here, but it has steak and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. Here's where we're having dinner at tonight. See? One side is a steakhouse, and the other side is the Brazilian Steakhouse. So, Here's a funny thing about cruise dining. If you've never been a cruise before, um, food is pretty much free unless you go to an upcharge restaurant. So that means when you go to dinner, you can have, you know, you can try as many things as you want. So it's a good time to try the new things you don't want to try or spend the money to try. So you can have like snails if you've never tried them before. And you can have an appetizer. You can have two appetizers. You can have two entrees. And then the great thing is, if you're still hungry, you go back to the buffet at like three hours later. So the fun thing about a cruise is there's so much food options. You're bound to find something that everybody will like, hopefully. So usually after dinner, we catch a show or watch some entertainment. Um, tonight we went to Sid Norman's Poor House. They did a Fleetwood Mac tribute show. Highly recommend that. And then we watched the Battle of the Sexes. 